take time to be holy. Speak up with thy love. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit, the fountains of love, thou shalt. Soon be fitted for service aboard. In the five and twentieth year of our captivity, in the beginning of the year, in the tenth day of the month, in the fourteenth year after that. The city was smitten. In the self same day, the hand of the Lord was upon me and brought me thither. In the visions of God, brought he me into the land of Israel and set me upon a very high mountain, by which was as the frame of a city on the south. And he brought me thither, and behold, there was a man whose appearance was like the appearance of bronze, with a line of flax in his hand and a measuring reed, and he stood in the gate. And the man said unto me, Son of man, behold with thine eyes, and hear with thine ears, and set thine heart upon all that I shall show thee. For to the intent that I might show them unto thee, at thou brought hither, declare all that thou seest to the house of Israel. Ni odu kedogun okoru wa ni bere oduna li ojo ke ojo ike wa osu li odu ike ni la leyi ibati lufo li ojo na gan owo meru wa lara mi osi mumi wa siber na ni mu ira meru li mumi wa si ile israeli o si gbe mi ka ori ka oke giga kan lori eyi ti kiko ilu wa ni iha gusu o si mu mi wa sibe si ki esi opore kan be eni ti iru re dabi iru baba iri baba pelu opo ogbo di owo ni owo re ati ije you want it. O si duro ni eno ona. O kuri na si wufu no pe o me eni ya. Fi oju re wo ki o si fi eti re bo ki o si be o kan re le ombo bo ti e mi o fi ho ni tori ka ka ba le fi ho ha ho li a se mo wa ni i e i so ombo bo ki o ri fu ile Israeli. Now, I want us, you have your Bible, let's read verse 4 together. Uh, verse 4. Verse 4. 1, 2, go. And the man said unto me, Son of man, behold with thine eyes, and hear with thine ears, and set thine heart upon all that I shall show thee. For to the intent that I might show them unto thee, art thou brought hither. 
declare all that thou seest to the house of Israel. You read verse 4 in Yoruba. Oh, yeah, why you better cacao? Oh, poor enough, see me through me pay. Oh, mania. Few jewel of woe. Kiosi fiati rebo. Kiosi be o kare le o bobo. Tell me o fi hao. Nitori ka kaba le fi wa hao. Li ase muo. Why ye ye? So o bobo. Tiori fu ile israeli. Ezekiel was at this time in the land of captivity. But the spirit of the Lord took his soul and brought him to the land of Israel. This happened in the visions of the Lord. And say, I have brought you here to show you some things. Make sure you watch those things I am showing you well. Make sure you hear the things I am telling you well. Because I am sending you back to the house of Israel. To declare to them the things you have seen and the things you have heard. Is it the Bible? Yes. Let us go to the book of Isaiah. Now, God also takes some people today. In the visions of the Lord. To hell fire. I say, see the things I have brought you. I, I have brought you here for this purpose. To see the things I'm showing you. To hear what they are saying and what I shall tell you here. I am sending you back. To the children, to the world, to declare what you have seen and what you have heard. He takes some people to heaven. In the visions of the Lord, I say, I have brought you here for this purpose. To show you some things here. To speak to you from heaven. As you are seeing, I will be talking to you. I'm going to send you back to the earth. When you go, tell them what you have seen. So so the bone to about to and what you have heard at the bottom about it and those people have come this one had that experience that one had that experience that one had that experience being that you are when you are that you are what tower can you you lay tower can you you tower can you you don't sister linda also had the experience back on any sister linda no knee and is declaring what they have seen and what they have heard. Is it according to the Bible? Is it according to the Bible or not according to the Bible? Now, and God just some he, they, he takes them in sleep others he made them to die and go is it uh, does God have power to do that yes I want me or Jackie was soon can walk cool got off here I want to get there Lori get a baby baby I'll be a lot of me I've got a lot to share I've been called about a lot to share those who are challenging this don't know the Bible completely. 
ise ranse yi wo ma n ti bibeli so ni ni kikun this not knowing the scriptures are cursed awon ti o ma oro olorun olorun ti fi won gbe re they find themselves contending against the living god won wa nbri ara won bi eni to nba olorun o ja it is not something outside the scripture is what god can do to man e se nkan to je pe o yato si oro olorun o je nkan ti oro olorun fi di re mule ni is one of the ways god sends message to man o je ikan ninu awon ona ti olorun lo lati le ba awon eniyan soro revelations and visions are remain ways in which god can also send message to man according to the written scripture ifinga ati ba ni soro o je awon ona ti olorun lo lati le fi ona ha enikokan bi o se le rin in the book of um Luke chapter 16 ninu we luke ori kere di ni ogun Luke chapter 16 luke ori kere di logun verse 19 ese ikokan di ni ogun to 31 de ikokan le ni ogun there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fed some justly every day and there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and uh, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table moreover the dogs came and licked his sores nipi nje okori olorun kan wa ti o wo aso elese aluko ati aso aladaradara asima je didun lojojumo alagbe kan si wa ti an poruko re ni lazaru ti ima be ti am ti ima be wa kale la leba ona ile re o kun fun oju o o lo asima fe ki a fi eru ti o ti ori tabili oloro bo si bo sile bo eru awon ajasi wa won si fa li ojula verse 22 and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom the rich man also died and was buried and in hell he lifted up his eyes being in torment seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom o si se alagbeku asiti owo awon angel igbe lo si o kan aya Abraham Olorun na si ku pelu asisin ni ipoku yo gbe oju re soke o nbe o nbe ninu o nbe ninu ise oro o si ri Abraham li okere ati Lazaru li o kan aya re and he cried and said father Abraham have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for i am tormented in this flame o si ke ori pe baba abraham sa nu fun mi ki o si ran lasaru ki o te ori ka re bo mi ki o si fi tu mi ni aha nitori emi joro ninu owo ina yi But Abraham said son remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things and Lazarus Lazarus also evil things but now he is comforted and thou art tormented and beside all this between us and you there is a great gulf fixed so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot neither can they pass to us that would come from them sugba abram wi pe omo ran ti pe ni igba aye re iwo ti gba ohun rere tire ati lasaru ohun buburu sugba nisisin yi ara ro iwo si njoro ati pe pelu gbogbo yi a gbe ogbin lakan si agede meji awa ati eyin ki awon tin fe ma ba le re koja lati yin lo si odo yin ki eni ke ni ma ba le tun 
leti ohun re koja wa 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 then he said i pray thee therefore father that thou would send him to my father's house for i have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they also come into this place of torment and abraham said unto him they have moses and the prophets let them hear them baba ki iwo ki o ran ki o ran lo si ile baba mi nitori mo ni arakunrin marun ki o le ro fun won ki awon ki o ma ba wa si ipo ro yi pelu abraham si wi fun pe won ni mose ati awon woli ki won ki gbo ti won and he said nay father abraham but if one went unto them from the dead they will repent and he said unto him if they hear not moses and the prophets neither will they be persuaded though one rose from the dead o si wi pe be ko abraham baba sugbon bi enikan ba ti inu okuto won lo won o ro loku wada o si wi fun pe bi won ko ba gbo ti mose ati awon woli akiyo yi won li okan pada pelu bi eni kan tile ti inu ipo kudide let me give you some background understanding e je ki so awon agbeleko ti itan yi concerning where people went to when they died before jesus finished his sacrifice nipa ibi ti awon eniyan ma nlo nigba ti won ba ku ko to di pe jesus wa se ise rapada if you look at the old testament in the case of dotan koran and abiram the bible says they ate open her mouth and swallowed them alive into where into the earth into hell the uh, bible is je ko ye wa pe pa pa julo nigba aye kora dotan ati abraham ni o je ko ye wa wi pe awon eniyan won yi ile lanu o si gbe won mi si oro apadi hell is underneath the earth oro apadi o wa ni sale ile in the book of amos chapter 5 the bible shows us the don't you dig into hell which hell is underneath the earth ninu iwe amosi ori karun o je ki aye wa yi pe o ma n be o ma n be o sinu oro apadi eyi ni pe oro apadi wa ninu ile right from the days of adam those who died sinners go underneath the earth to hell fire lati ojo ibi lati ojo aye abraham ami adam wa gbogbo awon to ku ti won je alai mo olorun won wa ninu isale ile but where do righteous people go to before jesus finish fire ni bo ni awon to je eni ti o gba olorun gbo nlo ko to di pe jesus se ise irapada this scripture also tells us bibeli na si fun ye wa on they also go underneath the earth awon na ma lo si isale ile ni their soul go underneath the earth emi won o ma lo si isale ile because the rich man was seeing abraham the other side nitori pe olorun ye o ri lazaru ni ona keji ni package the rich man saw abraham and saw lazarus in his bosom in the other side o olorun yi o ri lazaru ni o ka ya abraham ni egbekeji but abraham revealed that something there is a great god that a great ditch some very great ditch that separated hell from where they are ni gba yen abraham je ko ye wa yi pe ani agbede yen ni pe ogun ni la to tobi to wa le arin oro apadi ati o ka ya abraham to je oro rere ni gba yen the rich man revealed that that great ditch was covered with water oloro yi ami abraham yi je ko ye wa yi pe ni ogun yi a ti omi si ti o ti to afi omi la si ti o je je pe ko tun 
so that I, we don't know whether the water was the one that changes the condition so that the heat of hell will not go to the other side. We don't know, but that is what scripture reveals. Now, the other side is called Abraham's bosom. A city named after Abraham. Abraham. As you name a square after somebody, somebody. Back on a biashe man fi o kolo po ibi ti a wey yam beta bibita wey yam pink bejo ti a man kolo ko wa ni oru ko eli atobati ku. You name a, a a university after somebody. Aman ji oru ko university pada ni ni fi oru ko elu mi ni bate ni eba ku. Surely Abraham was not the first to be there. Noah is was there too. But a if you are ipe. Now, the Lord Jesus revealed that that other side, Abraham's bosom, was called paradise. When the repentant thief told Jesus on the cross, Lord, remember me when thou comest to the Father's house. What did Jesus say? Today thou shalt be with me where? In paradise. In paradise. Where did Jesus go to paradise? To the place where the sinner dwells. The Bible also reveals in Ephesians chapter 4 Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8 and verse 9 verse 8 to verse 10 wherefore he said when he ascended up on high he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men nitori orupe now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of where? Of F the earth. Are you hearing it? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens. And it was okay that he might feel all things. And it was okay. Oh, can I leave you? Leave city go kere. Look at your bobo awaro. Kile ko um bobo. It shows that before Jesus went to heaven, he first descended onto the lower parts of the earth, where paradise is. He went to the paradise site of the lower part of the earth where Abraham and all other righteous saints who had died all this while had been going to. What about heaven where God was? non-righteous man had ever gone to heaven because the blood of bulls and animals were not enough to perfect forever until Jesus would come Jesus revealed this clearly Nobody, not even Elijah, that we thought went straight to heaven. No, <laughs> he's that paradise. Only that he went alive without dying in his body. In John chapter 3, 
John chapter 3. John Ori Keta verse 13. Take it in Ogu. And no man hath ascended up in heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Kosi eni tia tu di oru, bi ni mo eni ki eni tia bi ti kosi omoloro ti di oru to ti oruwa. I want you to understand this. Jesus declared that no man born of flesh and blood had ascended into heaven except he that came down from heaven. Jesus ya ko ye ayi pe ko si omo eniyan to ti de oro bi ko se eye eni ti o wa lati oro. So, and to show you that Jesus Christ when he died for the, all the three days he had never been to heaven except the day he resurrected from the dead. He went to paradise and spent the three days on that in paradise. Because in John chapter 20, verse 15, to verse 17. John chapter 20 verse 15. To verse 17. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? She supposing him to be the gardener. Said unto him, Sir, if thou have borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus si wo fo pe wo berin yi ese ti wa fi suku ta ni wo wa o o se bi oluso gba ni se o si wi fun pe alagba bi wo ba ti gbe kuro ni so idi so ibi ti o gbe te si fun mi emi o si gbe kuro Jesus said unto her Mary she turned herself and said unto him Rabona which is to say, Master. Jesus is with you, Maria. Ozi yipada. Ozi with you, Raboni. E yiti se ti oje olukoni. Is said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father and your Father. And to my God and your God. Jesus si wifu pe. Ma se fi a walk on me. Ni to di ti. E mi ko ti go ke lo si. O do baba a mi. Suban. Lo so do a wara ko le mi. Si wifu wak pe. E mi go ke lo so do baba a mi. A ti baba a yi. A ti si o do a lor o mi. A ti o lor o yi. This scripture short for the three days. Jesus was in paradise. And the paradise at that time was not heaven. It was the place of the abode of those who die, who die righteous. Waiting for the sacrifice of Jesus. With Mary wanted to embrace him. Maria said, Don't embrace me yet. I have not yet ascended to my father. He was going with the blood of sacrifice to sanctify heaven. To make way for people to have access to heaven. The Bible revealed that many righteous saints were seen in Jerusalem alive. Who were dead. The resurrection of the, the ascending and resurrection of Jesus loosed the captivity. The, the, the human beings which were underneath the, uh, the righteous 
loose them there and carried paradise to heaven right in the presence of God. Now, if the righteous dies, he doesn't descend under the earth again because the, that place has been removed to heaven. The righteous that dies now goes straight to heaven. When Philip was being stoned to die, what did his eyes open to see? He said, I see the son of man st standing up to welcome his soul, standing in the right hand side of the father, straight in heaven to heaven. When uh, Paul said, I am, I am between two opinions. To depart from the eight and be with who? And to be with the Lord. Or stay back with you and preach. Which means, out of the body, you are with the Lord directly. The soul of righteous people go to Jesus directly in heaven. That's, that's why the Bible says he shall return with them during the rapture. Is that so? He shall be coming with the saints because they are all there now. They are not underneath the eight again. But sinners are still underneath the earth. Because the final thing for them has not yet come. The final thing shall be the, the judgment, the, the great white throne judgment. After that, they shall be carried to the lake of fire, which is different from hellfire. As for the position of the lake of fire, that's not our concern now. Now, with this understanding, Consider that Luke chapter 16 again. Was the rich man seeing God? 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 Is Abraham the same thing with God? Abraham, the request he was making, was he making that request to God? He was not making it to God. He was making his request to who? Abraham. Abraham showed him the limitation of man. Abraham Number one. Abraham has no power to send somebody to hell. Abraham Does he have does he have power? Abraham, as a man, was limited. Abraham, 
Abraham so can not send a messenger to hell. Abraham but if God wants to send a messenger to her, can he do it? Number two, Abraham showed the limitation of man. Abraham Okuna he did not know the things that are of God the things that are in God's divine plan Abraham didn't know for God the Lord said it is not for you to know the times and the seasons that the father has put in his own hand so he never knew there would be time that someone would be going to hell will go to hell and come back to the earth Abraham was not aware of that God didn't give Abraham the power to know that it is not for you to know the times and the seasons that the father has placed in his own hand if this be so again the limitation of man. Abraham did not, it had never happened while he was on earth. Abraham did not know the effect message from hell will have on human beings on the earth. Abraham spoke what he knew. Abraham he spoke what he knew as a man. Why then do we take Abraham and think that Abraham is God? Why are we making Abraham God? Is it that when a man dies, a Christian, a believer, he becomes like God? he is transformed to become almighty God why are we allowing this scripture to, stop, to cause us to stumble over God is doing in this generation by taking these scriptures he said no nobody can go to hell and come back nobody can die and come back nobody can bring me safe from hell who is telling you that was it God that is speaking here Nathan went to David to say oh your mind is that you should build you will build temple oh go and build the temple the Lord is with you the Lord came to Nathan and said no that message is not for me go back to David and tell him, I, you cannot build a house for me. Can you see disparity between man, I mean, God, and a prophet? Nathaniel, you know, David, you know, 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 Although it is true that a few, some people, whatever you tell, them, even Jesus coming himself, they won't believe. But it is not perfect truth that message from hell will not change anybody amen see these people here you are here testimony of hell has made you to follow jesus revive your life and you are now serving jesus with all your heart can i see your hand up Testimonies from hell. Can you stand up and let the people see? 
Testimonies of hell have changed you. If we if Abraham speaking, he was speaking by God, then God is a liar. For see the crowd of many witnesses. Brothers and sisters of the rich man in hellfire. See, testimonies of hell has changed their life. Abraham was speaking as a man. Abraham Who didn't know the plan of God? Put what Abraham said aside. Don't take it perfectly. He knew in part, he prophesied in part, waiting for the glorification that would come later. He was still on earth in paradise. He had not even gone to heaven yet. He has not put on the glorious body yet. Which was still waiting for us in Christ. His soul had not yet met up with the body. In the resurrection. The full powers of the world to come. Had not taken effect in his life. Yet. His knowledge could be improved, but not at the level of God's knowledge. The Bible says the angels of God, he charges them with folly. Angels that stay with, that stay with God in heaven. When they came to Sodom, they were asking, Lord, do you have any other relation here? They had not that knowledge whether he had relation or not. But what they are not, when they were like, Johnny, I want to say, Johnny, why do you allow minister and minister who didn't know these things to be confusing you? By the last time I was there, I was told that Jesus had not written one man. They were coming here. Oh, a general overseer said this. A general superintendent said this. Was the Bible given to one general superintendent in the world? Ni tori pe general overseer ati so superintendent ati so ti asimba abo tojo ona fui tojo tabi tabi ona tojo tabi la ti juwa ni okapada. Let the prophet speak by two, at most by three, and let another man judge. Ni wabati ti so that those preachers that come up and be using this scripture to stop the work of God in our generation they are doing great harm to the living God See for a long. They are doing great harm to the members of their churches or denominations. Mosquitoes have become so tough. You have been using uh, this mobile for them, but they have overcome mobile. So somebody bought a tap. And the kawa mu ota pia pia wa. Amen. Amen. Oh, just sprinkle like this. No mosquito will survive. Teba tivu ab keke reba i. Bogba watu jaya mu yamu bogba luma aku. You say no. Don't use ota pia ota pia pia. Then the kawa zope. Amen. No ota pia pia. Ota pia pia will carry you to hellfire. Ota pia pia yo mu ilosi ora abadi. Mosquitoes will be killing those people. Bogba watu bo irunti wo ite ni eso and. And the higher power that can handle the mosquitoes because they have overcome mobile. Any yolo she on katoni abarawa tole ba nyamu nyamu ja idini elei. Matori ba nyamu nyamu otilni abaraju mobile. 
Rather, you would have said, giving them guidance how to use Otapia Pia so that it doesn't affect them. That would have been wisdom, but them completely. The churches have become so strong and difficult. The word of God preached. Let's go to John chapter 3. It's not having much effect again in many churches in the world. Even on sinners. And the Bible says, He that winneth souls is wise. Verse 14. The God of wisdom has gotten, has in his thought and wisdom provided experience, testimonies that will drive the sinners back to church and make believers bow down and seek for some sanctification and holiness. Sinners seeking for Jesus. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. And you preachers stand up and be using scriptures you don't understand well to confuse these people and drive them away from God. What will you go to God and say these revelations have done negatively in the world? What damage has the revelation messages done to sinners in the world? Did it make them to hate God more? Did it make them to hate Jesus Christ more? Did the revelation message that come from God to man through this one who said the Lord showed me the Lord showed me did it make sinners to increase in sin? Did it promote the activities of Satan in the world? What evil has the revelation messages and have the revelation messages done in the church? Has it caused more backsliding in the churches? Has it reduced the number of pastors available for God? David said, Is there not a cause? You see me acting like this. See me doing like this. There's a reason why I am I'm talking like this. There's a cause. What will you now say, you preacher, man of God, superintendent, overseer? What reason will you advance for fighting this revelation? Jesus Christ said, Go and tell John again what you have heard and what you see to show that i am the messiah the blind receive their sight the lame rise up to walk rapers are cleansed the cleansed the dead are raised and the gospel is preached to the poor blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in the son of man i told you earlier he said, 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 He 
leave these people alone. If this thing be not of God, it shall perish. Yes, but if it be of God, you cannot prevail against it. Else, you will find yourself fighting against God. Praise the Lord. Go and tell them this. Go and tell the superintendent this. Go and tell the overseers this. Go and tell the senior pastors this. Go and tell the members this. The scale will fall from their eyes. Amen. The scale. Oh, at least from the eyes of some of them. Otherwise, they will not escape the judgment of God. For it is hard for them to kick against the pricks. It is Jesus they are persecuted. Let's rise up upon our faith now and go before the Lord in prayer. I love Jesus. I love Jesus, Son of God. For he has done so very much for me. Very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent the Holy Ghost to me. I love the Lord. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, Contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus I believe
you purchased me with your blood. You are my Lord and my Savior. You left your throne above and took up the form of a servant for my sin. Savior. You can 
I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you, Lord. I love you. I believe. Jesus, I believe.